Okay, here is litter two, and this is Becky's babies, and I've just got three of them. I kept them in with Marana's babies because they're, yep, they're not reverse pinto. They're not, um, this is just a real normal litter, so I could easily, easily tell them apart. And so I can just put them on the table right here. Their birthday on these ones, July 25th. I overlooked this litter a little bit. They should have been able to go out a week or two ago, and unfortunately... They were maybe on the wrong area in my habitat room and um, they got overlooked. But I'm going to hand the phone over to Ben here and I'm going to start with a bubblegum pink girl. I got a little dot on her butt and she's just kind of curling and going to bed. So when she was in the bucket playing, she doesn't know Marana's babies. They're just really not familiar. And so this litter was trying to be a little bit shy of Marana's babies because they're like, here's some strangers in here with us. But there's her face. She's got a real sweet little dark face. She's not a super dark hedgehog as far as her coloring. She kind of looks more of a lighter brown or a medium brown compared to some of the darks that we've been getting lately. But she does have a nice chocolate face. She's, she's sweetie. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let's go to here. You know, she's got two brothers, one of which is sound asleep, and the other one was cuddled up with her. He's got a little powder blue dot on him. Real traditional. No pintos in this. No pinto spots, really. And so if I show him off, he's got some beautiful stripes on his forehead. Wait till we see his stripes. Oh, yeah. I can see him. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is he moving around a little bit here? <laughs> oh, nice, uh, he, bottom feet right he's a little shyer with his forehead <laughs> it's like he's guarding those stripes from me but really with a little bit of work he's just a little bit nervous but there he goes he does fine so he um kind of pulls in a little bit but see then he once he sees that i'm doing it then he's fine now he's just kind of pushing up against it and he likes that so um he's good he's ready to go eating and drinking good on his own Nice, beautiful color. Those stripes are pretty. Mm -hmm. It's got those two racing stripes. Mm. There you go, dude. You want to go up here? Now, brother is totally sound asleep. No bark. No barking. It's my driveway alarm going off. So as soon as somebody crosses into my driveway, I have an alarm that goes off. Hey, hey, no. hey. And then my barking dogs go off. That's the second alarm. Hey, you're fine. Okay, so this little boy, he's got a green on his butt. He's light, you know, really not super dark like his sister. No racing stripes on his forehead. He's just a real nice medium brown. Oh, sweetie. Hi. He's pretty calm. He's like trying to snuggle in and take a little bit of a nap but hi there dude hi there you go yeah um anyways if you're interested in becky's three babies born july 25th i always encourage people to write down birthdays because they text me about a month or two later and say when was my hedgehog's birthday and while while i do keep track of everything it just makes sense for you to write it down anyways should we talk about no insectivore food is needed for um, the bigger hedgehogs? Just so the two know. little babies, this little one and this little one, they absolutely could use either a small or a large. Um, that would be good. The other ones can have a small. It would be good to start giving them bugs. Bugs make hedgehogs live longer lives. So I always do recommend the insectivore food, but it's not necessarily needed except those little babies. Now the mealworms, mealworms are separate. Mealworms are something that we want to supplement their diet. We're, we're uh, eight to 10 a day when we're feeding cat food. So one is a food, starts hedgehogs out for the first couple of weeks, and then they transition over to cat food. Then it's good to give mealworms as a supplement. Um, I tell, I do remind people to keep winter in mind. We've got thermostats right there in stock. We also have small heat pads and the large heat pads in stock. We got all of our colors of our snuggle sacks, um, travel bags in. Now I'm still missing, I have the blue and white snuggle, sa snuggle sacks, 
but I'm waiting for the pink and white ones. So those still say out of stock. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, text me. I'll help you. I'll let the babies just run around. They always like it when it's their turn to come out on Play Island and get a good week on the island. But who doesn't like a week on an island? Okay. Right? Vacation. That's mm -hmm. right. There, this one's the little digger. Watch. So funny. Kicking it up. That one you could put extra deep bedding and yeah, would probably dig it. That one would just love the bedding. It's really having fun burrowing.